Today we'll be touring Horizon FD75. Welcome aboard Horizon FD75. This is so voluminous. It's got so much space. I cannot wait to show it to you guys. Come aboard. This is a really large swim platform. What is a 20 foot beam? Yeah, just, just, over. just a little over. Well, that's your beach club. I think you're gonna hear me say beefy a lot today, but that's just sort of how it feels. It just got that that volume. Then we have the transom door here, which we're going to get to later. There's going to be a lot of very unique features. And I did say very unique because the layout and some of the details I haven't seen on any other vessel. Okay. Walk us through here. What do we have here? So you have an entrance into the crew quarters from here and engine room and the engine room, but there's a secondary entrance to the crew quarters. We'll check out in a moment. And the way they designed it, it allowed for this extra storage on a transom, which is basically your lazarette. You know, you would put some toys, some fenders. F fender lines. Yeah, it's a little extra space here. You got the shore power hookup right here. Actually, it's a cable reel. And also your platform high and low remote control is right here as well. This is an interesting resolution for staples. Yeah. Instead of kind of lining up the whole swim platform with it. Just doing the corners. And this way, uh, when you come up with the tender, it's nice, you can just grab onto something. Yes. I feel like that's always missing because the cleats, they actually uh, tuck them in right here. So they're out of the way, they're not in a way, you're not tripping over them if you're using this as a beach club. And then these are perfect for usage with the tender. Got a raw water wash down, fresh water deck wash down, and a transom shower right here. And there's still a water maker, city inlet, and oh, interesting. So we have two fresh water hookups here. One is a direct city water, into the boat, into the boat system. Um, probably if you put a primary filter here outside, if you don't have that, they have a secondary water hookup, fresh water hookup from the city, um, which goes through the water maker. So you can use the filtration of the water maker. Smart. Okay, let's go up. Nice Horizon logo doors here. This is storage. Wow. Big storage. Did not expect that. So this also could serve as a little bit of a lazarette space. Yes. Come on up into our cockpit. This is very large. They left it open. They didn't put any kind of bar or anything here just to have this big, massive space. There is an L-shaped couch here, easily nice sitting for eight to have dinner. And right here on our port, we have a secondary entrance to the crew quarters. We'll check out at the end of the video. You guys know how we do it because that's also where our engine room is. Did you mention that it's a high-low table? I did not. Yes, it is. Waste. Pump out station. There's a sideboarding door on both sides. That's Fire true. suppression. It's also a great location. Nice and safe. One of the diesel fills, or maybe uh -huh. that is the only diesel fill. I'm not 100% sure. Something you will notice immediately is that we do have an asymmetrical layout on this yacht. Yes. So on the port side, you don't have a proper walkway. It's kind of, you can still get there. It's, you still have a railing. It's still safe. You want to go put some fenders on. You have grab rails lines. overhead as well. So yeah. you, can, you can actually walk there. But it's, on the other side, we have a proper walkway on our starboard. But it does give you that pretty crazy volume inside because you're, you know, you're using that space on the interior. Yes. Now let's go to our starboard. And I want to talk about the sideboarding doors. I like this mechanism. I've seen them before, but look, they pop out. This is our security for the door, so it's not going slamming back and forth. And they just neatly disappear. Yeah, that's nice great. Nice and flush. Don't get, very, don't very get hurt cool. or, or hung up on, you know, with your pants. So then we have the aft cleats here. And let's go forward. Another fire suppression system. We do have the panel here. We have a, actually a lockbox here, which is great. We can put the keys in. Um, and then we have some of the light switches here as well. I'm going out on a limb here. I see this little cutout here. And I see this hookup here. Makes me believe there's a wired remote for the mm. controls of the thrusters and main engines. I think you're right. For this docking purposes. What else would it be? Okay, we are going forward. 
on our starboard side. Now we have a proper wow. walkway. Look at the size of the windows. The windows is crazy. And you guys saw them from the exterior just as we, as you see like the exterior views of the boat. It's all windows. Such a massive window. And in the interior, you really feel that. It's crazy cool. Also gonna mention the size of all the cleats are just nicely overbuilt. I mean, it is a 75 footer, but it's got that, that beefiness on, on everything. Got your shaving protection next to it. Right here we have another entrance to the interior, which we'll check out in a moment. Where does it go? I'm not gonna tell you. Okay, but I'll tell you once we're on the interior. Our boarding ladder right here, nicely tucked away, also have it space for it. Big storage. These are neat. These are like angled cup holders. Yeah, perfect. That works perfectly. Okay, let's talk about the negative windows or forward right. braked windows, whatever you guys want to call them. But these are our favorite. And it really makes sense because the flybridge has now solidly enclosed windows for the forwards part and just a small little side part, as you guys can see right there. Same angle like the main pilot house. Very modern exterior styling connected with, I would say, more of a traditional explorer yacht look. So it just gives it a, a cool vibe combination. So what do we have here at the, on the foredeck? Okay, so let's go through this. So this table is not high-low, which personally, I think a Horizon being semi-custom, there's a lot you can do on the interior. This, um, I would totally go high-low on this. Yeah, I would be too. able to lower it so you have a better visibility from the pilot house. This is cool right here. These, we can pop them up or lower them as well to create that visibility or a huge layout cushion. So this, this could become one here, right? Correct. Yes. We have a shade right here that the touch attachment points right here for the shade very nice the backrest here also could come up or go completely flat to have a layout cushion i mean if you think about it if you made this high low right yeah and put like a cushion in between this you could have like a pillow fight here i mean this is, <laughs> this is insane <laughs> it's it's a really nice entertaining spot on the bow here it's not just a bench and that's it everything is nicely lined with rubber mats or plastic mats, rubber mats, I believe. Uh -huh. So it's nice and quiet and also they're erased. So it's drainable. I mean, looking at these, I actually have never seen these before. I feel like Horizon has probably down the line has learned like, hey, this this is something we got to have. And it looks like they have their own. Well, the, the more you have air circulation, the less mold you have. And uh, you know, the, your compartment just stays cleaner. It, these are fantastic. Got some speakers here for the foredeck, pop-up lights. We have shown you guys before. Oh, nice. FD-75 does not have pocket anchors. We actually have a traditional plow anchor right here forward in the center. Uh, stainless steel in this case. Foot remote switches right here. The windlass right here. Now let's open this up. Oh, wow. Whoa. Let's go deep in there. Um, we have a massive chain locker. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Molded in steps to go down there if you, ever, if you ever have to go down there. Same here. Just from the other side, of course, chain locker steps up, molded in. We got a fresh water, salt water rinse down here. And with that much space left over, I would probably place my fenders in here as well. Chain is marked from the shipyard, so you have the legend here, know exactly how much you have already deployed when, you lower, when you're dropping anchor. Ah, little compartment. Oh, we have another shore power inlet here. So if you're for some reason at a dock and you don't um, have the hookup on the stern and you want to hook up on the bow, you can do this, just leave it through here the, um, where the, you know, the dock lines are coming through or the anchor and then hook up your shore power right here. So I've been whining about this, you guys, and asking, should we have that? Should Enrique keep saying, we don't really need it, but are you sure? Are you sure we don't really need it? Are you sure? It's uh, not too late. I don't know. Let's see. NBBL or not NBBL? Put it in the comments. Going aft, another storage compartment here, equal. Very nice and safe railing everywhere. And you have a bit of almost like a wing station, the way it comes yeah. out, right? Yeah, because the door tucks in right behind you. And then if you stand here with your remote, for example, uh, docking wise, I can see everything. It's super easy. 
visibility is fantastic. Real quick, I just want to ask you guys to hit that like button and make sure you are subscribed to our channel. Some of you are saying that you've been somehow unsubscribed by YouTube when they were doing the purging of different accounts. So definitely check it out. Make sure you subscribe and then hit that notification bell to never miss a new video. We don't charge anything for our yacht tours. We fully keep our independence. So the most help you can give us to keep going is to subscribe, hit the like button and write two, three comments. That makes a huge difference. We really appreciate it. All right, let's go check out the flybridge. Welcome to this massive flybridge. Wow. <gasps> Holy smokes. And you know what? got a day head in here too. Like I already mentioned, we have the solidly enclosed forward part of the flybridge and two side windows. So it still feels like you're in a complete open flybridge. Forward enclosure being a soft enclosure always looks, a little, it's always hard on visibility. Yeah. So making that solid, and I think that they kind of take that from the Horizon Power catamarans. You know, the, the same uh, idea is that they enclose just this portion and then it makes it really really easy to enclose this soft enclose it if you wanted to yep. or keep it open but you always have proper visibility and you always protect from the wind which is one of the kind of most exhausting things of being on an open flybridge from experience is the wind because you're up here it's a lot more wind and you constantly pound it by well it. you could you could soft enclose it but the problem is with a soft enclosure you don't have windshield wipers. So everybody of you, you have been out in the ocean, you have a little bit of wind chop, you have waves and it's, the spray comes right over. After a couple of hours in these conditions, you don't see anything anymore. The sun is hitting it and it just, just dries it's up, just baking it baking it in. in, you don't see anything. Here I have a wash down, a spray down and the windshield wipers, it just makes absolutely sense. So now you're saying like, okay, but what's really what if it's really warm and I want to get the breeze in, we have a hatch overhead facing forward, so you can open that up. You actually get the airflow right in here, and then the rest is open anyway, so you're perfectly fine. Now, if you enclose it, this, air, this flybridge is air conditioned or reverse cycle heated. So you can actually cool this whole space down if you want to. He's talking a lot today, you guys. Am I? Oh, yeah, he probably likes the boat or something. So this is pretty cool here, which I opened already. To my point. Yes. This is how it would normally look. Same, same over there. Very safe. If you very, have very, kids, very, dogs. Very safe. Close it up. You can enclose this, of course. Now you can open this. Clicks in safely. And now I have my little wing station here or balcony, Juliet balcony. It's not that little. No, it's, it's, it's comfortable. I mean, and I have fantastic visibility all along the side of the boat. Even if I would to stern to if, I, if I'm peeking over, I can even see the corner of the swim platform. Oh, yeah. You totally. can see it. Mm -hmm. That's great. Talk about the helm quick. I don't know. Are you going to be quick? Yeah. So we got, two, we got two helm chairs, two VHF radios, bow and stern thruster control, shift and throttle control. We got our Caterpillar engine monitors right here. We have the helm wheel right here, stainless steel. Engine start and stop buttons, controls right here little Garmin uh, multifunction display, searchlight control, anchor remote, Garmin multifunction display, windshield wiper control. Then we have our Humphrey stabilizers there and the trim tabs right there. And the boat is outfitted with a C-Zone yacht management system. So everything we have on here, you can you know do different modes, um, you know, bell mode and anchor mode, night cruise mode. So I'm not gonna touch anything because we wanna keep the lights on for filming. <laughs> so. Everything can be controlled right here, with the touch of a button. First of all, let's point out, we do have a seating area here, which we can put chairs around. So we have an alfresco, technically alfresco dining, upper alfresco dining, if you want to call it that. At least eight, I would say, huh? For sure, eight. There's a little bit of storage right here. It goes all the way in there. Again, everything is rubber mat lined. Nice. We have protected electric plugs here. Everything is in the weather protection three bar stools on this side and we have our bar okay this is our air conditioning is it for here then that is one of the air conditioning units we actually have for the flybridge uh-huh and then trash can nice storage here ice maker nice sink right here and still have a bar countertop very nice space oh check it out this is amazing. I mean, this yacht is still getting commissioned, you guys. So 
there's still a lot of things that are kind of getting put into place. And another oh, look storage. At that. Amplifiers there for the Fusion Stereos, satellite TV, Apple Box, Fusion Stereo, and some storage above. Really nice and clean. Outdoor TV right here on top. That's only half of our fly. Then we're walking aft to the rest of it. On this side, we've got another bar. I mean, you can have like somebody cooking, somebody making drinks. I mean, it's nicely separated, right? Oh my God, it's so heavy. Wow. <gasps> oh, very cool. So deep freezer right here. Wow. Very large. So deep freezer must have, I think it's fantastic that they fit it in. Then here we also have another AC unit up on top. Okay, so we have a steelhead marine 1500 pound crane here and a lot of space actually for your tender. This is, this is pretty big here. I mean, easily, easily, you can fit a 14 foot, 15 foot tender up here. You can also do a smaller tender in a jet ski. Like, I mean, absolutely. if the capacity of this allows, it's a lot of room. Space-wise, you're really not, not heavily limited at all. It's very big. And at anchor, this is amazing because your tender is going to be in the water. And this is your entertainment space. Behind me, we have three poles for shade. I like that it's three, so it's nicely supported in the, in the center. Sometimes you just end it up with two, and I feel like that's, that's great to have, and the attachment points are right there. So this whole space could be shaded, which I think you would do all the time. And then we have another space here, another countertop. What Horizon does really well is entertainment spaces. There, they know how to do that. So storage right here. We have a really nice Barbie here, and then storage underneath and right here i'm just gonna guess it's gonna be a propane storage oh got it wow that's a huge propane storage mm -hmm. rails everywhere and what do we have here the day hack so excited about this check this out how nice oh, with is a sink it? and everything. Yes. Well, you should have a sink in the day <laughs> in some kind of mood today you're gonna you're gonna get yourself in trouble just ask me for trouble Oh, and great amount of storage underneath for anything you need yeah. to store in This here. is fantastic. But you know, it's also great if you're on a longer journeys and you want to have that higher visibility and you enclose the space. This whole area right here can basically become your secondary salon. Like you could, you could kind of like live here, you know? You can really go overnight crossing. 100%. You want to be here, you enclose this. Or if it's great weather, you don't you know, you just leave it open, but you can literally just spend time here. You have a day here, you don't need to go anywhere. It's great. Let's go down and jump in the interior. Weather door right here, weather hatch. Wow, that opens this space up really nicely, but there's another boat tying up right next to us, so let's close it up. We're inside. Welcome to the salon and the galley. I think we should start with the galley. Sure, let's start with the galley. Okay, so the galley is on our starboard side. I mean, you guys let me know. I'll uh, maybe even throw a, a video for you, a, a tour to check out in the description of the video. But if you've seen the tours of Horizon Power Catamarans, do you feel like this got the vibes? Because I feel like the interior inspiration here is uh, very similar. To I think it's also a little bit the choice of the countertop. Yeah, the, uh, the choice of materials and stuff is very similar. I absolutely love it. Of course, they're two separate divisions, the companies, so completely um, different, but it definitely fe it feels like it's got that vibe. I love it. I think it's really pretty. Nicely done. So we have stone countertops throughout, an ice maker with a little bit of a freezer. We have our Sub-Zero. Drawer fridges. Can this be turned into freezer or just I fridges? I don't know. I think just fridges, I believe. I think we have exact same ones that we're getting on our boat. They always have some cool stuff, so I'm gonna open everything, okay? Storage, nice and deep. Pantry storage, nice. Everything has closures and then another support for security underway. Same fridge. Oh. Uh, Got our freezer drawer with a couple more drawers. Very nice. Storage. Drawer. Deep drawers. Trash compactor. KitchenAid. And then on this side, we've got a four burner induction cooktop. Some more drawers right here. They're all nice and deep. Microwave oven on top. 
extraction fan, and then underneath here, oh, we do have a proper size oven. Very nice. Continuing around, some more storage. Really good size sink with garbage disposal. What's that? Uh, maybe the remote for garbage disposal or something? No, it's no, got that's... cold and hot. Oh. That's your water. Oh, that's your, that's, your, oh. that's your faucet. So instead of here, it's here? Interesting. I've never seen that before. Have you? Me neither. Put in the comments. Have you guys seen this before? That's totally new to me. So cool. I, I want to open it so bad. Okay. This has got to be Victoria's best friend and Jason win dishwasher. Congratulations, Jason. You're welcome. You owe me. Keep going. So right here we have kind of like a breakfast nook, right? So we have a table. It's set for two, but it does appear like you can make it bigger. Yes. And it extends out this way, right? It does. It does. So it can be a table for six. This is really clever. I like this a lot. So you have that huge dining area on the exterior and you still can have, let's say if you're just four people on board, you know, and you just want to have a quick breakfast or if you're serving here and you just want to put stuff out, you can extend this out and make it actually almost like a buffet area. You can put the food on top here. If you want to have the bad weather solution where you don't want to sit outside or maybe it's too hot outside, you want to just have it in here, you can take the, ch the chairs from the exterior actually and use them for the interior because they're the same chairs. Agreed. This is cool. Check this out. This is actually dual access on both sides. Check this out. Interesting. And how they cut this, right? Yep, 45, 45 degrees. Yeah, interesting. Big storage goes all the way in there, so it's easy to get in and out. Huge windows everywhere. Can we talk about this window? It's so big. It's gorgeous. The lighting in here is absolutely stunning. I love how they did this wall. That's very nice. Also natural stone. Really like the furniture choices in general. Big sitting area. Easily you can hang out with eight people in this space. This is cool too. So you do have a um, ottoman poof or also you know, a spot for somebody to, to sit and make the space even more usable. And uh, TV is right here. So you guys get the idea and then you can just also swivel it out this way. So the TV will be like this and you can nicely watch TV in here. That is also the reason why the Sonos soundbar is there. I was wondering like why is there a soundbar but now it makes sense. And it's gone, disappeared. Now we have a nice large wine cooler right here. Oh, it's great size. And all your stemware beautifully displayed in this cabinet. All right, we have two separate staircases here. One is going down to our guest cabins and one is going down to our owner suite all the way forward. Let's go check out the guest cabins first. That window. And it's not just that, just wait. Oh yeah, wow. This is also really pretty. They incorporated all the light. It just gives it like a home feel, right? Very comfortable stairs, they're wide, and there's an anti-slip anti -slip coating on the bottom of the stairs, very nice. This is gonna get a little bit confusing, but we are gonna go on our starboard side into the twin cabin. So these two beds can come together and make a nice full-size bed. We have storage underneath this bed here, two drawers, a bit more with our direct TV, exposed storage there, Openable portholes, hanging locker here, and our AC access right there. Built-in TV with a Sonos soundbar. A little bit more storage in our nightstand, but yes, they did a great job. And you could tell when you slide this bed over, there's going to be a nightstand on the other side. I can tell already mm -hmm. that it goes all the way through. That's on our NBBL, and that made the list for our boat. And now we're gonna go on our port side before we get there. Washer, dryer, stackable, this is great. Our second twin cabin, two separate beds. Uh, they're not slidable and we have drawers in each one. Hanging locker right here, great size. A little bit of an exposed storage here. 
Ooh. Oh, and a hidden TV. That's cool. Let's see what else we can find. We're going to open stuff up, but we'll never know. Okay. A V rack. Openable porthole right there. And then there's a little door down there. What's there? Whoa. No, sneak peek, but okay. we'll see that from the owner's suite. On the suite. suite. Okay. All right, where's our head? We have a shared head for these two cabins. Oh, that's a nice shower. Okay, I'll go in the shower. You can do the rest of the, of the tour. We got our hat here. We have a backlit mirror here, vanity here, with lots of storage underneath, actually. Nice countertop space, nice sink, beautiful big window here. It's a one and a half person shower, but you do have a bench here, actually, and almost a second bench. So there's a lot of elbow room. It's just uh, more compact down there, but it's great. You've got an openable porthole there. There's still space here. It's very, very nice. Let's go check out the VIP. So I was just thinking, like, oh, let's check out the owner suite, but no, never mind. No, this is actually our VIP. But honestly, I think they're kind of, you know, rivaling each other. Of course, this cabin is fantastic size. You can almost say that this uh, boat has two masters because it's just big. Hanging locker goes a little bit inside as well. Great size. On this side, we do have a vanity mirror. Very nice. Can also use it as a desk. Openable porthole. Check, check. This is cool. I like these. Check this out. Oh, all our AV equipment can go in this shelf. Great. And you can actually access everything with the way this door is open. Built-in TV. Sonos soundbar. Queen size bed. Big drawers underneath the nightstands. And then right here, what's behind it? Yeah. Huh. Oh, wow. See, you got to open things. You will never know. So nice shelves. And then we have a pocket door right here. We're walking in into the ensuite and this bathroom. We also have a bit of storage underneath. Good side sink. Great window as well. Mirror with a whole bunch of functions. We'll show it to you guys in the owner suite. Just say that this is a two person shower. This is bigger. So this is definitely a two person shower. Great size. And it's got also an operable porthole in there. With the blinds closed right now. Let's go check out the interior helm, our pilot house and the owner suite. you guys get to see where we saw that door on the exterior so it comes right in and you can go straight into the pilot house or go straight into the salon and your galley or go straight into your master so you've got all these options lots and this of opportunities great side door so when you board there and you come with uh, provisions or anything you can go either this way or if you come you need to go straight to your cabin you can go right here all right we're going into the pilot house so we have a raised pilot house set up here two Which ways to enter it so one way is from here. From Up to the flybridge. Yep. Exactly. There's lots of... Let me see what this yeah. is. Yeah. What are the drawers? Uh, there's our yacht controller. It's a wired connection. And of course, when you have these covers, you should always try to put the cover back on so no dirt or anything goes in there. That's You're just my OCD. So good. That's just my OCD, so I can't help it. You're welcome, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> More storage up here. We have our raised pilot house right here. Two helm chairs. This is really nice, actually. Right here we have storage. Cup holders. More storage. All your little all your covers from the electronics can go in here. More storage up here. This is also nice for your phone. You can put your phone right there, you know, so yeah. it's actually standing up. I like the carbon fiber look, it looks very clean. Then we have our water maker control right here, Humphrey control, trim tap control. We have our C zone monitor right here two very large Garmin screens next to each other. Stabilizer thruster monitor right here, sea fire control. We have an emergency backup steering control right here. Searchlight control right now here. We have the windlass here, our ignition switches, our horn switches right here, caterpillar monitors, another Garmin multifunction display, windshield wiper control, two Garmin VHF radios, and then all the way here on the right hand side, the shift and throttle controls, 
and the bow and stern thruster control aft of that. Cup holders, a little compartment probably for your phone and so on. You have a USB outlet and a 110 outlet right there. And let's go check out the owner suite. Going to go all the way forward. We have a big switch panel here with our generator controls, our blue seas, electrical controls, and then Victron inverter chargers we have here. Everything you, you need, your chiller control is here. So all the equipment which you would use every day. And the bit of storage underneath. And now to the owner suite. Integrated rail in here. So this is a full beam owner suite, but all the way forward. So you guys can judge what kind of beam we're working with forward. That's very unusual. And that's something typical of the FDs. So if these have that beam, they carry it almost all the way forward and you ended up with this really nice cabin. Look at the windows. I know, and this is a king size or at least a European king bed. It's a very large bed. I think it's a king size bed. I think it's a king size it's bed too. It's got three big pillows there, I think so. The windows, the openable portholes on both sides. Then right here, we've got our closet, one of the hanging lockers. It's very big. I mean, I can fit in there. On this side, we have a little makeup station slash an actual desk. You can set up your computer and work here. More hanging lockers. Whoa. Oh, check it out. There's still shelves here. There's a safe, drawers underneath. Wow. And that's not all. He's got his own. Look at this. Oh my God. Beautiful. Love it. Look at that. Drawers here as well. Everything is cedar line. And then right here, we have a little bit of exposed storage and a bench. And here is where we have our electrical room slash storage, right? Yeah, it's actually really nice. Um, it's a very large hatch. That we saw from entrance in one of the cabins. Correct. So let's go in here. Very convenient ladder. Everything is lined with a rubbery floor material. So if we go down here, our breaker panel here, that over there is the door we saw from the cabin. We have all of our um, C-Zone equipment here, not all, but we have most of our C-Zone equipment here. A little Victron, Victron equipment right here. Everything is very neatly organized and labeled. More Victron equipment, big breaker panel, DC breaker panels right here. Our hydraulic thruster is right there. You can see the thruster tunnel right there. And then we have a sump pump box all the way forward, which services the forward ensuite. So there is a pocket door right here, but you can leave it open. I like how they build in this cabinet. This is very nice. Up here, we have our escape hatch or an actual hatch. If you really want to open that up, you can. It's just covered by a cushion right now. And then come on in to our head shower so proper walk-in shower wow nice step down here and nice drain look how it's integrated so you're never gonna have any standing water here they yeah. really did a great job and for cleaning this corner actually comes out oh cool very clever very easy to maintain i mean i think it's a two-person shower but at least the one and a half I mean, this person's have to be a little bit smaller, but yes, one and a half person shower, open with a porthole in here, even got a, a mosquito net that you can put in here. Two very large sinks, huge sinks. This might just be the biggest sinks I've seen in, <laughs> in water suite. They're so big, right? You can wash clothes here. So then we have storage, drawers, very pretty. Or open shelving on both sides. Okay, this is cool too. Check this out. You can change the change the intensity of the light and also change the color. There we go. Warm. So yes, warm. You want to do makeup. Warmer. Cold. Off. Off. <laughs> and also has the anti-fog function. Look how they incorporated the toilet brush and the toilet. Oh, paper yeah. holder very nice like flush into the wall nicely organized agreed right. so what we have left we have crew quarters and the engine room oh i don't know i'm putting glasses on because we're here. going going back down but anyway right here is our door that we talked about and it gives us secondary access to the crew quarters let's go check it out this is a really cool solution. 
axis. That's your main your main chore breaker. This is a great solution, honestly. Yes, so it's a it's a nice weather solution, right? So this is access instead of having a hatch you have to climb into. You have like a proper door. You can leave it open. It's out of the way. It's not bothering anyone. If you're an anchor, you know, you just your crew is going in and out. It doesn't look bad. It looks good. And then of course, if you have rain and stuff, you know, you're not going to be using this door so much. It's, I mean, you can, but well, underway. Yeah, underway exactly. This is fantastic. So, okay, we're in the crew quarters. So we have a little kitchenette here, basically. We have storage here, we have a microwave. They have their own little fridge for anything they would like to keep right here for a night, midnight snack. Then, we, of course, we have some more storage here. It's great. You can also put a coffee maker here, any loose appliances, toaster, you know, stuff like that. Even like a little panini if you wanted to. Two people crew on this boat, they're going to be family, like they're going to be socializing with you. Come into the cabin, sit on the table on the bed so you can see. So it's a two person cabin. We've got two twin beds, really nice size beds as well. They're, they're not too narrow, they're good size. And then we have a TV right here, storage wise, you've got storage underneath and underneath the bed here. Here we have a shelves, which is what normally crew will have. Just t-shirt, shorts, some more shelves. And nice cabin, nice headroom. And one thing yeah. you missed, <gasps> oh, that's where we're hanging lockers. What? Wow, this is cool. This is a really nice cabin, actually. It's really private space, and it's right next to the engine room. It's pretty cool. And then the head is right here. So we have a sink, compact sink, medicine cabinet. There's still all of the storage here. If you wanted to, you can put a little basket to put your extra shampoos and stuff like that. There's also space there that has a lip. Nice, I have a mirror, uh, exposed storage here, and a really nice shower. So it's not a wet head, it's actually no. a proper walk-in shower. It's a one and a half person shower, very nice. If you've got a couple crewing for you, also really cool space for them as well. Or if you are using this boat as an owner operator, which could be for a lot of people in US 75 for sure, this would be a fantastic storage. Well, what a, an amazing room there. And a day head when you're using the beach club. Oh, so just, just an overflow down. cabin if you need an additional cabin. Of course, but if you don't, you have a day head here, which is pretty cool. You open this door up for the beach club and people can use this bathroom right So now. then we have our transom door here, the staircase going in and then access underneath the staircase for all your equipment back here, your, your stern thrusters, steering, hydraulics, bilge pumps, etc. Pretty good access. For the ladies, what's this? For the ladies? More storage. More storage. Listen, dude, storage is my thing. Do your thing. And now for the ladies. The like engine room. Ladies with beards and Because mustaches. apparently what I've heard, a lot of people stop watching for the engine room. I don't know why. Okay. Because you're doing the tours. Anyways, as soon as we come in, we have our AC and DC, DC breaker panel here. We have a compressor right here on the starboard side, muffler system, chiller units behind this right there. So the box right there, that's your chiller. We have one of the generators here on the starboard side. Big Caterpillar main engine here, C18s in a V-drive setup. As you guys can see, the engine is tilt forward, reverse. So we got a V-drive setup right there and then a straight shaft uh, overboard. Can I point out the cute items? Yes. Okay, I love this backlit LED underneath the engines. We also have a backlit side glass gauges here, which is pretty cool. For the fuel. So actually when that door is closed and you look in through your little porthole there in the door, you can easily see, you don't even need to open the door to come into the engine room, you can see all your levels right here. Okay, back to you. Okay, another C18 Caterpillar right here. Then we have our hydraulic reservoir here, hydraulic tank, the port side generator, our Dometic Spot Zero and water filtration 
water um, maker units right here. Going forward, here we see our ZF transmission with the V-Drive setup and then the straight shaft over. Got our primary fuel filters right here. Seacocks are pretty easy to get to. Our engine room ventilation. Actually, multiple engine room ventilations here. Same here. Primary fuel filters for the generators. Our whole fuel manifold down there. It has a reverse or oil changing system. Primary fuel filters for the starboard engine. Some Victron equipment right there. And then of course our manual controls for the Caterpillars uh, to start them from down here. Manually just got to switch over and you can start them from down here. Yeah, everything we need. Fire suppression system is right here. Comfortable, you can stand up in here. Yes, very nice space. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour and if you would like to get a really cool Naughty Crew t-shirt, join us on the Patreon and for some more outtakes, check out the Patreon as well. We'll see you in the next one. Ciao! But it works better, no? If you know how to use them. <laughs> that, what's the brand, uh, the brand name of that crane? Steelhead Marine. What's that? Steelhead Marine. Ooh. I, what's going on today? I can read. Yeah, but I usually you're pronouncing it funny, so still, still head. Still head. Yeah, steel, it's a steel steel, head. Steelhead. Steelhead Marine, yeah. uh, 1500 pound rated. Oh, that's tall. How do you even get there? From the stairs? I guess so, huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> it happened to him. You don't yes. Need to get there at all. Outtakes. Beautiful big window here. I mean, this is kind of like a view you want to brush your tooth, your teeth too, right? <laughs> tooth. Your tooth, the your one, butt. the one you have left, one, the one tooth. One tooth. What about the shower? <laughs>